The moving straw is an old magic gag where the magician pretends to use magical powers, but really he just blows at the straw and it rolls away. What I did differently in this video is made sure there was a wall behind the straw. So instead of blowing directly at the straw, I blew at the wall instead, making the air wrap around and push the straw toward me instead of away from me. This makes it much more convincing. I used a similar method for the post-it note. What you didn't see in the video was that I had a couple of objects behind the post-it, so the air was wrapping around and pushing it toward me. It takes very little wind to make a post-it move, so you can really breathe very lightly and make it fall, and the rest is just acting. To make the Sharpie move, I used a product called Loops, which is invisible thread that loops around your hand. I'll put a link in the comments on where you could purchase them. Here I'm using a rubber band in place of a loop so you can see it. So it's around my hand like this, and I caught it on the cap of the Sharpie. Now as I move my hands around, the Sharpie moves with them. Of course, the loop is not as strong as the rubber band, so it takes a little more movement to make it react. And what's great about loops is you can always have one around your wrist, and you're ready to perform magic at any time. I also used loops for the rubber band trick. So there was a loop around my hand just like this. I'm using a rubber band so you can see it. And then the rubber band was sitting on top of it. I looped my finger through the loop inside the rubber band, just like this. So when I let go of the rubber band, it got caught on the loop and it appeared to float. To make the rubber band stop floating, I pulled my middle finger out of the loop and the rubber band fell to my other hand. Now it can be handed out for inspection and no one will ever see the loop.